<clears throat> Let's talk about design choice. This is something that when you're making armor, oftentimes you'll make a component um, on the fly and determine that maybe the purpose you had designed it for isn't the most interesting or fun application of that purpose. And so oftentimes when you're playing with vegetable pan and doing freeform work, you end up making these beautiful parts and you're like, I'm not sure what it's for. And that's okay. Before you figure out how you're going to wear it, uh, generally it's a good idea to take the time to place it on your body and figure out, do I want to wear it as I designed it? Or would I like to wear it backwards from what I intended? Does this piece go on my arm? Does this piece go on my forearm? Does this piece go in this orientation? Does it go on my bicep in an opposite orientation? And really check the range of motion you have and ask yourself, well, if I were to do this part, would it work? And more to the point, uh, is there a way I can make it better if I were to design a part with a completely different design thought process in mind? So as we start branching out for parts, where are we going to put these? Does this work on the head? Does this work on the breast? Does this work on the shoulder? Does this work on the opposite shoulder? And start to figure out how you want the material to lay. So not only do you have range of motion, but you give off the aesthetic that you're looking for. So one thing to consider when you start putting your armor together is asking yourself, well, would I wear it like this? Or would I wear it like this? And would my shoulder pad look better if it was on the opposite side sticking out and would I still have that same range or is there something I'm not considering? So every time you design a piece of armor on the fly, you've got to ask, is this wearable and how am I going to mount it? But more, more importantly, is the orientation that I had originally intended the most interesting way to wear the armor, right? So we're going to discuss what to do when you have another piece of armor. that can be wet formed over your body to match those same designs. So we have a bracer or an arm piece already designed. And then we have one pauldron type, which is already designated for the left shoulder. And now we're going to talk about how we would do the opposite shoulder so that they integrate well, but it's not just mirrored symmetry.